for astronomy and calendar studies. The metonic cycle or Ennea des Eteris is a period of very close to 19 years that is remarkable for being nearly a common multiple of the solar year and the synodic month. The Greek astronomer Meton of Athens observed that her period of 19 years is almost exactly equal to 235 synodic months and rounded to full days, counts 6,940 days. The difference between the two periods is only a few hours, depending on the definition of the year. Considering a year to be one nineteenth of this 6,940-day cycle gives a year length of 365 plus 1 quarter plus 1 76 days, which is slightly more than 12 synodic months. To keep a 12-month lunar year in pace with the solar year, an intercalary 13th month would have to be added on seven occasions during the 19-year period. When Meton introduced the cycle around 432 BC, it was already known by Babylonian astronomers. A mechanical computation of the cycle is built into the Antikythera mechanism. The cycle was used in the Babylonian calendar, ancient Chinese calendar systems and the medieval computers. It regulates the 19-year cycle of intercalary months of the modern Hebrew calendar. Mathematical Basis at the time of Meton, axial precession had not yet been discovered, and he could not distinguish between sidereal years and tropical years. Most calendars, like the commonly used Gregorian calendar, are based on the tropical year and maintain the seasons at the same calendar times each year. Nineteen tropical years are about two hours shorter than 235 synodic months. The metonic cycle's error is, therefore, one full day every 219 years, or 12.4 parts per million. 19 tropical years equals 6,939.602 6 days. 235 synodic months equals 6,939.688 6 days. 254 sidereal months equals 6,939.702 6 days. 255 draconic months equals 6,939.1161 6 days. Note that the 19-year cycle is also close to 255 draconic months, so it is also an eclipse cycle, which lasts only for about four or five recurrences of eclipses. The octon is one-fifth of a metonic cycle, and it recurs about 20 to 25 cycles. This cycle seems to be a coincidence. The periods of the moon's orbit around the Earth and the Earth's orbit around the Sun are believed to be independent, and not to have any known physical resonance. An example of a non-coincidental cycle is the orbit of Mercury, with its 3 to 2 spin orbit resonance. A lunar year of 12 synodic months is about 354 days, approximately 11 days short of the 365-day solar year. Therefore, for a lunisolar calendar, every two to three years there is a difference of more than a full lunar month between the lunar and solar years, and an extra month needs to be inserted. The Athenians initially seem not to have had a regular means of intercalating a 13th month. Instead, the question of when to add a month was decided by an official. Meton's discovery made it possible to propose a regular intercalation scheme. The Babylonians seem to have introduced this scheme around 500 BC, thus well before Meton. Application in traditional calendars Traditionally, for the Babylonian and Hebrew lunisolar calendars, the years 3, 6, 8, 11, 14, 17, and 19 are the long years of the metonic cycle. This cycle, which can be used to predict eclipses, forms the basis of the Greek and Hebrew calendars and is used for the computation of the date of Easter each year. The Babylonians applied the 19-year cycle since the late 6th century BC. As they measured the moon's motion against the stars, the 235 to 19 relationship may originally have referred to sidereal years, instead of tropical years as it has been used for various calendars.
Apollo was said to have visited the Hyperboreans once every 19 years, presumably at the high point of the cycle. The runic calendar is a perpetual calendar based on the 19-year-long metonic cycle, also known as a rune staff or runic almanac. It appears to have been a medieval Swedish invention. This calendar does not rely on knowledge of the duration of the tropical year or of the occurrence of leap years. It is set at the beginning of each year by observing the first full moon after the winter solstice. The oldest one known, and the only one from the Middle Ages, is the Nykoping staff, which is believed to date from the 13th century. The Bahá'í calendar, established during the middle of the 19th century, is also based on cycles of 19 years. Further details the metonic cycle is related to two less accurate subcycles. Eight years equals 99 lunations to within 1.5 days, i.e., an error of one day in five years, and 11 years equals 136 lunations within 1.5 days, i.e., an error of one day in 7.3 years. By combining appropriate numbers of 11-year and 19-year periods, it is possible to generate ever more accurate cycles. For example, simple arithmetic shows that 687 tropical years equals 250,921.39 days. 8,497 lunations equals 250,921.41 days. This gives an error of only about half an hour in 687 years. Although this is subject to secular variation in the length of the tropical year and the lunation, Meton of Athens approximated the cycle to a whole number of days, obtained by 125 long months of 30 days and 110 short months of 29 days.